Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are doing something different. Today we're going to be ranking all the matches that I've been to in the 23-24 football season. As you know, I basically do a couple of match day vlogs now and then. Uh, I go to a lot of Ajax matches and I film it sometimes. So, basically I think every single one of these has been a vlog. Uh, as you can tell, I have all put all these matches on to this little tier maker here, and I'm gonna be ranking them from amazing match, good match, underrated, could have been better, or waste of time. So there basically isn't really a. Um, I'm gonna change this to just decent because underrated is you can't really underrate a match. This is not what I want. Okay. So, we're going to start off with the beginning of the season, the first ever uh, matchday vlog, and also the most watched matchday vlog, even though it's one where I don't use my face in the video. It's on the left against Charleroi, and I'll be honest, it's just, it goes straight into an amazing match. The atmosphere was great, like really good. Uh, the match itself was great, uh, like last few minutes it, the 2-1 came up um which just was beautiful like the match itself was really good um like a lot of good moments i'm not i'm also talking about like how i experienced the match like it's not just the match itself but the experience it, it's in a different country so it's already gonna be a bit higher up for me uh even though belgium is basically like shit netherlands but yeah, it's still an amazing experience, and I think this one deserves to be here. Now, Ajax against Marseille was an amazing match. And I'm not going to say anything else about it, really. It's, it's a three-all draw. Six goals in one match is already insane. The fact that it was a draw was kind of sad for me. That was the start of the downfall for Ajax That's this season, but... It's fair, it's alright. Um, but still, this match was just insane. I think this is probably the best match um, on the pitch-wise from the season that I've been to. So I'm going to put it here. Uh, no, I'm going to put Anderlecht first because I like it was something different. It wasn't a different country, it was fun. Uh, but yeah, this is an amazing match. Now, Ajax Volendam 2-0. We were 18th out of 18 teams at this point. So this match was really important to us. Uh, I went there with a few friends and it's a decent match. Like, I, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm going to put it in could have been better. Because it could have been better. Like, the fact that you had a really difficult time against Volendam and only made it 2-0. I say only 2-0, it's still like a decent win, but the match didn't look like a 2-0 win. If I remember correctly, because this is a while ago. Now, Netherlands against Ireland. This is the first and only national match I've been to this season. And it's gonna, just going to go decent. Like, atmosphere-wise, I think it's really fun to go to national games. It has a more family atmosphere. At least where I was sitting. Um, the ty typhos were great. It, it, yeah. Experience as well, like it's a one 0 win, so it's ne it's not gonna be a good match. Um, but everything else, like on the pitch, it was really boring actually. Uh, but everything else was really great, so it's gonna be indecent. Now, Ajax Space V, good match or amazing match? It's I know it's like it's very obvious that I love it when Ajax play. So I think I'm gonna switch those two around. But yeah, I'm chasing this, these two around because this match, the atmosphere was better. Don't really know why, but I, I, I feel like I can't really put these two. I can't put both of them in an amazing match because I think the comments would be at me. Um, but yeah, this was an amazing match as well. So go on, going on to Telstar against Helmond Sport. Now, I went in here with Telstar being the worst team in professional football in the Netherlands. So to see them win 
was good. Like, it was really good. The atmosphere could have been better, but at the same time, they were lost in the second division. And I'll be honest, in this country, football isn't as big as in England, for example. Uh, it's still really big. Like, it's still the biggest sport. Easily the biggest sport. Um, but, yeah, it's just... When you have a lower league team, you don't have a lot of fans. Usually. So, um, if there would have been a more fans, it probably would have been a good match. But I'm going to put it in decent. It's going to go above the Netherlands match, though. Because it was a fun, really fun experience uh, to see. Now, this... Match I, Ajax against Bodo Glimt, home. Um, yeah, we we drew in the last minute, but other than that, the match itself was horrible. Like the two really late goals to make, get a draw out of it saved us, but I can't because it. Even though that was amazing, I can't put it up here. In decent, I can't. I just really can't. Now, this one is really weird because Volendam against NSA, I'm going to put in good match. Because I went there with my brother. It was really fun. We sat next to the away fans who were amazing. So the atmosphere for us was also great. And yeah, it was just a fun experience. Fun little experience. Um, nothing too special to be bragging about. Uh, the, on the pitch as well, seven goals. If there's all the goals, the match itself is already great. Um, so two five, it looked like a like a draw on the pitch for like fifty minutes, and then after that, Volendam just got battered, which wasn't great. Now, Groningen against MVV, the longest away day in Dutch football. I'm gonna put it. Either in good match or in amazing match. Got to put it in amazing match. The 3-0. The fact that with two goals the players were just a couple of meters from me. Was insane. Um, it's really disappointing that there weren't any away fans. But at the same time. It was amazing. Like Groningen. I'm so happy that they're back in the division. Because they deserve to be. Their fan base is amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to put it here, even though it's a sec it was a second division match, uh, and it still had to be an amazing match. Now, now these are this is one that I'm this is the first waste of time. Like the entire trip to Lille was fun, and the day that I had in the city itself was really fun, but this match was a waste of time. I mean, Lille were basically through already. I bought the tickets when the first match hasn't hadn't been played yet. And they won that match 3-0. So, Stormgrass didn't really try that much. They just wanted a goal to say, look guys, we, we tried our best. Um, but Lille also didn't try because they knew they were basically already through. They were practically through. So, yeah. It's the first waste of time, which I find really bad, sad and bad at the same time. Because it's really sad, because this is the only other uh, match outside of the Netherlands from this season. Next season, though, we're going to have a couple of more a couple of more games outside of the Netherlands. Um, but it's really sad that one of, one of these two is at waste of time and one is at an amazing match. Because I think both had the potential to be an amazing match. But yeah, it just doesn't deserve to be there right now. Now, Utrecht against Pexwolle. This was ChatGPT decides uh, what match I go to. And the match itself was good. It was a really good match. 5-1 win. I'm going to put it here. Fans were amazing. Pexwolle fans, even though there weren't many, were great uh, throughout the match. Even though they were losing with quite a bit. So, yeah, I think it deserves to be a good match. Now, I asked Excelsior. Waste of time. I'm so I'm sorry, but... Excelsior were, I think, last in the league at that point. And we had to scramble a last minute equalizer to get a draw. You can't, you can't have that as an Ajax, as Ajax 
you can't have it as that big of a club to to desperately find a equalizer against one of the teams that are relegated now they're relegated and they got a point against us what i also noticed uh, is that from the five games that i've been to from ajax this season four of them have been a draw maybe it's me maybe it's not ajax <clears throat> now this match amazing it's really sad that Vitesse probably won't exist in the football, professional football next season. It's really sad. If you don't know anything about it, I'm not going to explain it here, but search up Vitesse. Um, just anything about Vitesse, really, you'll find it. Uh, but this was when they already had the points deduction and they had minus one point. We went there and they already they were already like bottom of the league or one of the teams that were going to get relegated anyway. Um, but... They got minus one point in total, so minus 18 points. They they got 80 points deducted and they got minus one when we went there. But the match itself was great, like experience-wise it was amazing. I went there with a mate of mine and his girlfriend, it was really fun. Um, and yeah, it's just, the match itself was also really good. Like a 3-2 win was amazing. It was a really good match. Now, another waste of time is the youth teams for a couple of reasons. First of all, the video absolutely flopped. I think this is one of the worst doing videos on my channel. Um, so please give it a watch, it, it, it's fun. I'm not saying it's the best, but it's fun. And well, I was, I just kind of wanted to see what Young Ajax and Young AZ were like, which is basically like two of the youth teams that are in the professional pyramid. And, yeah, I mean, Azet were uh, just so much better, don't get me wrong. But the match itself wasn't entertaining. And because it's the youth teams, there isn't really, like, an atmosphere. Fans don't really come to actually support. They just come to, like, watch friends that play for those teams or it's parents that watch it. There were a few away fans who, who were pretty good. I'll be honest, they were pretty good. Um, rather than that, kind of waste of time. Now, the Conference League playoffs with Utrecht and Sparta Rotterdam. It's, it's gonna have to be a good match. Like, I, I haven't had that many bad matches this season. Um, this one, just a really tough match for Utrecht. I was sitting with a lot of good fans. So, I had, I had a lot of fun. Um, and once again, Utrecht fans great the match itself was great and the last minute 3-1 was just some of the best scenes i've seen this season uh so yeah that's gonna be it for today uh you can agree with me you can't agree with me i don't think you've been to every single match that i've been to but this is what i think uh, of my 23 24 season if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe if you want to see more and please let me know where, what teams I should go to. Because I want to go to a lot more teams. Just let me know in the comments down below. And maybe I'll be able to do so. Yeah, then I only have one thing left to say. And that's going to be...